Hey, do you all ever feel overwhelmed? Do you feel like you're banging your head against the wall? Do you feel like you're getting nowhere? Well, you know what? There's a lot of people that feel that way right at this point in time. There's a lot of people that are really frustrated with everything that's going on and how things are going in this world and in this country. There's a lot of people that are just really upset over the whole fact that they just can't go to the store and buy what they want. You see, here in America, we're not used to that kind of stuff. I think in most countries, United States, Canada, Australia, you know, a lot of these different countries, you know, you're used to being able to go to the store, you, you, you buy what you need. You know, if you, you need four cans of green beans and, uh, uh, you know, four cans of corn, three loaves of bread and a gallon of milk, you go and you pick it up and you go home, right? I mean, that's what we're used to doing. But things have changed. Times have changed. And we have to try to comprehend exactly what is going on. And I think it's very overwhelming for a lot of people out there. I think a lot of these people that are out there right now, you see them when they're in the stores and stuff, and it's like they're um, lost in a sense. You know, they don't know what to do when they walk over and what they're looking for, it's not on the shelf. The whole reason that you are a prepper is so that you don't have those feelings and so that you avoid those type of situations because it changes the way people feel. It changes how you look at things, your decision making and all these different things go into that whole scenario. It's a very, very bad thing for a lot of people and a lot of people are suffering because of that. Here on Survival Preparedness for Beginners, I've been trying to talk to all you to bring you aware, to make sure that you all understand so that you're not part of that equation. I try to make sure that you are the ones that I'm focused on to try to make sure that you are secure in your future. Now, I'm no money market guy. I'm not going to sit here and tell you what to do with your money or how you're supposed to do it. I think maybe having silver and if you can afford gold, you know, I mean, a little bit may go a long ways, uh, but definitely I would suggest silver. I would actually suggest having cash on hand because you just don't know what's going to take place, folks. See, it, it, it's, uh, it's, it's like a snowball, you know. We have no idea what's going to happen. When things really start to go south, it isn't the time to be preparing for any type of a situation. You need to be doing those preps now. You need to be taking care of yourself now. You need to make sure that you have what you need to survive on a daily basis. You need to make sure that you have the utmost power when SHTF arrives. And you got to make sure that you have those things in your arsenal, in your toolboxes, the knowledge you need to survive, however, or whatever it may be. Maybe you already have plans. You, have, you know, I can plant a garden. I can do this. I can put up fences. I can protect my property. I can cook. I don't have to have electricity to cook. I can cook on a propane stove. I can cook on a fire. You know how to do these things. You have the utensils to do that with. You can manage and have the food and everything and medical that you need. So when you go into the stores, you're not standing there and like dumbfounded because what do I buy now? Because this is what I usually buy. You may have to substitute some of your items that you're used to buying. You may have to figure out if my recipe calls for this, what can I substitute in that place? You see, you have to always have contingency plans. Contingency plans are the main staple of being a prepper. You have contingency plans for your food. You have contingency plans for your medical equipment. You have contingency plans for your tools. You have a contingency plan for your escape routes if you have to leave. All these different things are your main contingency plans that you have put together, that you have took the time to ensure that when SHTF happens, you're fine and you're not freaking out, right? 
So I wanted to bring a quick video today because I'm sure there's a lot of people out there that could be overwhelmed. I'm sure there's a lot of people out there that are just like, I don't know what to do. I don't know how I'm going to survive. I don't know how I'm going to afford to buy food now. It's a very tough, tough world, a very mean world that we live in right now. It's a dog-eat-dog -dog world. It really is, folks. And keep the news stations off because they're just depressing. If you sit there and you watch what goes on on a daily basis, even in just your area on your local news, it's probably depressing. You probably need a drink afterwards. I know I watch quite a bit of it because I try to stay on top of things so I can bring it to you people so you don't have to. But you still should engage and keep up on certain things. So this way here you stay ahead of the ball. So I'm Survival Preparedness for Beginners. I'd like to thank you all for all that you do for my, my channel. I'd like to thank you all for everything that you do as far as your comments and your sharing of the videos, your likes, and everything. I appreciate it. And I am generally concerned that people out there aren't totally ready for what could be coming. Because I don't think we've really smacked that wall of water just yet. But I see it building. And there's a lot of people out there that see the same thing. It's only a matter of time, folks. So till next time, I'll catch you all on the flip side. Mm -hmm.